why BTS fans have been protesting outside Hive's building for six days. A Korean comedian is facing criticism for allegedly planning to give birth in the US. BTS's first ever book is coming on July the 9th. Suga gave a fan a birthday present, while the term rapper girlfriend trended in South Korea, referring to RM, and YG Entertainment announced the final members of their newest girl group, Baby Monster, the first girl group since Blackpink's debut. The significant truck demonstration, which initiated near the premises of Hype Labels on the 2nd of May, persevered into its sixth day on the 11th of May. The protest was turned up around the end of April, following the revelation of a private fan community accused of defaming BTS members along with various other K-pop idols through coordinated operations such as distorting community involvement, disseminating inaccurate information to media platforms, and provoking disputes among fans. The disclosure of this fan community first occurred on April the 27th when an internet user, who claimed to have been a part of this community for a while, decided to publicize the community's actions. The individual asserted that they observed the disparagement against BTS escalating drastically each day, leading them to depart the community. This person also suggested that around 36 individuals constituted this private group participating in the tampering of online activities aimed at a wide array of K-pop idols, not exclusively BTS members. In response, ARMYs initiated a widespread truck demonstration urging Hype labels to undertake rigorous legal measures against the participants of this now-defunct community. The placards, carried by the protesters, conveyed messages such as demanding retribution for those who concocted and disseminated unverified rumors, shared false news with media platforms, and targeted BTS members for an extended period. They also called for companies to no longer passively observe but actively protect their artists from such harmful actors. Moreover, the protest signs made several accusations against hype labels for being overly profit-driven and neglecting their management responsibilities. This was predominantly highlighted in the context of of the recent dynamic pricing strategy for ticket sales during Yoongi's D-Day World Tour. One fan voiced their opinion on the matter, expressing their confusion over individuals who harbor resentment towards people they don't personally know online or take issues with others' preferences for a particular group. The fans suggested that if one does not appreciate a group, they should simply disregard their activities and news about them. They further criticized the creation of rumors or negative commentary on every article related to a group, saying it only reflects the person's insecurity, lack of occupation, and envy. The fan expressed sympathy for such individuals, hoping they will eventually find tranquility in their lives. Comedian An Young Mi has found herself in the midst of a dispute over her decision to have her child in the United States. The controversy was sparked off when the fellow comedian Shin Bong Soon uploaded the video on YouTube on the 4th of May. In the video, she mentioned that An Young Mi was planning to fly to the United States to deliver her baby. Given that An Young Mi's husband is currently working in the US and her due date is nearing, she made the decision to join him there. However, following the video's release, some individuals expressed skepticism, suggesting that An Young Mi's intention to deliver abroad might be to secure dual citizenship for her child, potentially allowing the child to avoid future military service in South Korea. Responding to these speculations, An Young Mi expressed that the military issue seemed too distant to consider at this point. Instead of making assumptions about an uncertain future, she encouraged people to bless the child who was still in the womb. An Young Mi finished by expressing that she would have traveled to be with her husband whether he was in Vietnam or the Philippines. She emphasized the importance of sharing the potentially once-in-a-lifetime experience of her pregnancy, childbirth, and childcare with her husband, rather than facing them alone. On July the 9th, the official book of BTS is scheduled for release in both Korea and the United States. The New York Times reported that US publisher Flatiron Books has recently verified the announcement of the book. The publication titled Beyond the Story, Danny Record of BTS has been authored by journalist Myung Sok Kang in collaboration with the band members. Bikin Music will be overseeing its publication in South Korea as per the New York Times. The release date of the book, July the 9th, is of substantial importance to BTS and their fans given that it marks the day when the fandom was named. June the 13th, the original planned release date is another significant date commemorating the official debut of BTS. The book, offered in both Korean and English, is said to provide a host of captivating additional content. 
As the New York Times reports, the English version of the book was translated by Anton Hur in partnership with Claire Richards and Slin Chang. The Yes version, which spent 544 pages, will encompass exclusive paragraphs as mentioned by Flatiron. The first print run is expected to be 1 million copies. Interestingly, prior to the official confirmation, fans were left guessing whether the book announcement pertained to BTS or possibly Taylor Swift. During a recent concert by Suga, an army received an unforgettable birthday surprise. Suga is presently conducting his D-Day tour in the US. The concert in question took place at the Kia Forum in California on May the 10th. During the event, Suga noticed a sign among the audience that declared it was the holder's best birthday present. He decided to approach the fan. Initially, Suga asked for the fan's name, but he couldn't quite catch it. In response, the surrounding armies chimed in to help him out by echoing the name. Subsequently, Suga serenaded the fortunate fan with a happy birthday song, with the rest of the armies joining in the harmonious celebration. Undoubtedly, this birthday will remain an unforgettable memory for the fan. BTS's RM is undeniably seen as the epitome of boyfriend material by many. On May the 11th, the leader of BTS unexpectedly became a trending topic on Korean social media platforms, all due to his girlfriend. The conversation around RM's relationship status has been a consistent point of interest. The name Soyeon even stirred up discussions when RM shared a photo with the words Namjoon Heart Soyeon written in Korean. Interestingly, RM's relationship status has once again become a subject of heated discussion, but with an unexpected twist this time. On May 11th, RM became a trending topic on Korean social media as many armies were surprised to see the term Repayajin trending, translating to rapper girlfriend. Fortunately, before fans could jump to conclusions, it appears that the trending topic was quite different from what armies initially anticipated. Rather than featuring any images of RM with a girlfriend, it was filled with pictures of BTS's youngest member, Jungkook. Earlier that day, RM had shared some pictures which were reportedly from Blackpink Jennie's Calvin Klein after party. It appears that fans in Korea had been captioning the post with rapper girlfriend due to the closeness between the two members and the fact that Jungkook had long hair. Tweets from netizens couldn't conceal their reactions to the photos, often including the trending phrase. Upon realizing the true reason behind the trending term, even international fans couldn't help but be amused by the hashtag. Although it was lighthearted, the randomly trending phrase clearly showcased Fans' fondness for the photo. Dating among BTS members has always been a sensitive topic, but the fact that it was Jungkook who was involved made the situation amusing to armies. Baby Monster says final lineup has been revealed. In a live broadcast at midnight Korean Standard Time on May the 12th, Watch Entertainment's agency founder disclosed the five trainees selected to make their debut as part of Baby Monster. This marks YG's first girl group launch in seven years following Blackpink. YG introduced the final members individually, providing insights into his reasons for selecting each trainee for the group. The final lineup for Baby Monster includes Ahyang, Ruka, Chikita, Haram, and Parita. When asked about the mission of trainees Rora and Asa from the lineup, YG explained that he envisioned Rora debuting with YG's forthcoming girl group and Asa participating in a Japanese girl group project he has in the pipeline. In response to the queries about the two-week decision-making process, YG revealed that numerous fans expressed their desire for all seven trainees to debut, prompting him to reconsider his initial decision to select only five members. He further emphasized the significance of fans' opinions, expressing his belief that the true YG family extends beyond YG artists to include the fans and everyone who has faithfully followed the broadcast. At this point, YG switched the poster board featuring the five members of BV Monster, with one depicting all seven trainees. Referring to the expanded seven-member group as BV Monster, he declared, I will take all seven with me. He clarified that the original five members were chosen by YG, while Rora and Asa were picked by the fans. He concluded by sharing that they planned to debut as soon as possible, likely no later than the upcoming fall.